the word of God ought to be listened to. You should listen to God's word, for his word grants you the strength you need for the maturing of your souls. You should only want to be addressed by him. And truly, he will speak to you, regardless of how and in which way you hear his word. Only your serious wish to be addressed by him is the decisive factor, for then his spirit will penetrate you when you hear his word and then you will no longer hear the speech of a person but the voice of God who speaks to all those of his children who want to hear him. You can then, in solitude, attentively listen within and enter into a dialogue with your Father of Eternity, then all subsequent thoughts will originate from him directly, and thus you will hear the Father's voice too, only in the form of thoughts. You can also read his word in the scriptures, and again, it depends on your attitude towards him, your God and Father, as to whether and how you will be affected by the word you are reading. Then he is also talking to you through these, providing you sincerely desire the Father's communication. His words can also be imparted to you through a human mouth if, in religious places, you listen to a sermon with the desire to hear him, your Father of Eternity. If your thoughts are so closely united with him that you consider every word to be addressed to yourselves, then you can also truly say that you have been addressed by God himself. Additionally, you can accept the word of God from servants sent to you on his instructions in order to convey God's direct communication to you, which informs you that he himself speaks through the Spirit when he has a suitable vessel at his disposal which receives his flow of love that wants to pour into such a vessel. And if you are touched by these words you will also feel yourselves addressed by him and you will not have any more doubts that God himself speaks to you indirectly. But you can receive his words from him directly, too, if you unite yourselves with him in profound love and believingly listen within, then you will hear his direct communication and be extremely happy. And an abundance of strength will flow into you which will truly enable you to still achieve your perfection on earth, for the direct communication is the greatest gift of grace which all of you can acquire if it is your sincere will. You need to hear the word of God because you require a light from above which illuminates the path which will lead you to perfection. You require a small pointer in the right direction, you simply need help in order to be able to reach your goal on earth. You are weak and blind in spirit. You must receive strength and regain your ability to see. And both occur through the imparting of the divine word, which you therefore need to hear in some form or another. As soon as your heart desires to be addressed by God himself, the divine word will not fail to be effective and give you what you require in order to enable you to fulfill your task on earth. The one and only point is that you humans should establish the connection with your God and Creator of Eternity, that you should enter into the relationship of a child with its father and desire to be addressed by him, then your earthly life will truly not be futile. The connection with God had once been voluntarily severed and in so doing the being, which he created out of his love, became wretched and of darkened spirit. The connection must consciously and voluntarily be restored again in order to come out of this unhappy state, and therefore the human being must also want for God to speak to him, for this proves that he strives towards a connection with God once more, and then his higher development can proceed in his earthly life, for then the person will receive strength through accepting his divine word and he will become inwardly bright and clear. Then his spiritual blindness will have been overcome too, he will know about the meaning and purpose of his earthly life as well as about his imperfection and guilt and how he can be released from them. The divine word first imparts to a person the knowledge about the divine commandments of love. 
and if they are already being lived in accordance with then the person will gain further knowledge, he will become enlightened because the eternal light will shine into him since the connection has been re-established, which is the meaning and purpose of earthly life by itself. And for this reason you need the proclamation of the divine word, of the gospel of love, and new disciples have been chosen again to proclaim God who is the word of eternity, and they will bring the truth to people again, because God's word is truth and will affect every person as truth. If he seriously desires it, how else should you accept it if not from himself? Which is purely determined by your desire, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. For an inexhaustible measure of grace will still be poured out before the end because it is God's will that all people shall become blissfully happy and therefore he will also address all people who desire to hear him. And they can all still become blessed through his word. Amen.